1947, Kalamazoo, Michigan. As a member of Yale's baseball team, I remember playing in the finals of the first College World Series. Today, the College World Series is an American institution. It's college baseball at its best, and it's a thrill you won't soon forget. You got a beat up glove, a homemade bat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 1990 College World Series Luncheon. Now, here's your Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Jack Payne. The 1990 Stanford Cardinals are a very versatile team, with every starter contributing at key points in the season. Stanford's eighth appearance in the College World Series is a result of their 6-2 victory over San Diego State in the West 1 Regional Final. Stanford has a phenomenal 56-10 record this year and last played here in Omaha in 1988 when they won the national championship for their second consecutive title. They are led today by their Omaha service club hosts, Joe Mormon and Cy Moore from the Cosmopolitan Club. Their team sweetheart is Diana Devon from Jenny Edmondson College of Nursing. And their coach, a former College World Series all-star team member himself at first base for Stanford, is Mark Marquis, now in his 14th season. Let's welcome the Stanford University Cardinals.
The Fighting Tigers from Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge are making their fourth appearance in Omaha at the College World Series and the only returning team from last year's College World Series field. They were the South One Regional winner over perennial powerhouse Southern California with a score of 7-6. Always known for their hitting, this time they bring what them a team batting average of .331. They're being led today by their Omaha Service Club hosts, Bill Heffy and Mark Presley from the Omaha Lions Club. Their sweetheart is Jackie Engel from Bellevue College. And their head coach is Skip Bertman. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fighting Tigers from LSU. The Citadel is one of the first all-military institutions to play in the College World Series. The South Carolina Legislature established the Citadel in 1842, and the school derives its name from the fortress in which it was first housed. The Bulldogs qualified for the trip to Omaha by beating the University of Miami 4-1 in the finals of the Atlantic Regional. The Bulldogs bring with them an impressive 44-12 record on the first trip to Omaha. Their service club hosts for the series are Don McConaughey and Bill Norman from the Rotary Club. Their sweetheart is Diane Bidick from Creighton University. And their head coach is Chow Port, now in his 25th year. Let's give a warm first-time College World Series welcome to the Citadel Bulldogs. Mississippi State is also called the Bulldogs, and they are making their fifth trip to the College World Series. They last appeared in 1985 when they finished third. The Bulldogs secured their ticket to Omaha by defeating Florida State 4-3 in the South 2 Regional Finals. Mississippi State has a 49-19 record and has developed into one of the winningest programs in collegiate baseball, advancing to postseason play seven times in the last eight years. Their service club hosts here in Omaha are Ken Allen and Hal Rush from the Metro Area Optimist Club. Their sweetheart is Aaron Lundstromberg from Metro Community College. And their head coach is Ron Polk. Please welcome Mississippi State University. Our next team is the Georgia Bulldogs. They last appeared in the College World Series in 1987, and they're bringing back five players who were freshmen on that team. This is their second trip to Omaha, and it came as a result of their impressive 20-9 victory over Rutgers in the Northeast Regional Final. This veteran Georgia team is bringing a sparkling 48-18 record with them this trip. Their Omaha Service Club hosts are Don McCroden and Scott Stratman from the Concord Club. Their sweetheart is Linda Anderson from Bishop Clarkson College. And with their coach, Steve Weber, here they are, the Georgia Bulldogs. Our next team is Oklahoma State, a team that's becoming a permanent fixture at the College World Series. This year marks their 16th appearance in Omaha, and they won it all in 1959. They gained their berth this year by beating five-time national champion Arizona State in the West 2 Regional Final. The Cowboys bring with them an impressive 53-16 record, and they last played at Rosenblatt in 1987 when they were national runners-up. They are being led in today by their Omaha hosts, Leroy Olson and Verdell Goldberg from the Exchange Club. Their sweetheart is Jill Volsky from Methodist College of Nursing and Allied Health. And their head coach is Gary Ward. Now let's welcome the Oklahoma State University Cowboys.
The Titans of Cal State Fullerton, a two-time past national champion, are making their sixth trip to Omaha. They reached the College World Series this year by beating Texas 3 to nothing on the Central Regional Final. The Titans had six different players receive League Player or Pitcher of the Week award en route to winning the Big West Championship. The Titans' record is 36-21, and they last appeared in the College World Series in 1988 when they finished third. Their national titles came in 1979-1984. Their Omaha Service Club hosts are Jim Costello and Joe Moya from the Kiwanis Club. Their sweetheart is Cynthia Steno from Midlands Lutheran College, and they're coached by Larry Cochelle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Titans from Cal State Fullerton. Our final team, Georgia Southern University, located in Statesboro, is returning to the College World Series for the first time since 1973. The Eagles earned this year's trip to Omaha by defeating South Alabama 6-5 in the finals of the Midwest region. They bring with them a very impressive 50-17 record and to maintain the team batting average of .314. And sophomore pitcher Joey Hamilton leads the NCAA in victories with an 18-3 record. The Georgia Southern Service Club hosts are David Barnes and Dwayne Doc Shefty from Offutt Air Force Base. Their sweetheart is Terry Wachler from College of St. Mary, and they're coached by Jack Stallings. Let's welcome the Eagles of Georgia Southern University. <laughs> 